Today we're gonna go from this to this. Hi, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm just gonna put on makeup and we're gonna talk. I have SPF on, normally I would do this before that, but I just wanna show you something that I've been doing. This is from a brand called Pink Moon and I'm about to launch a podcast episode with the founder. I'm using this moisturizer, which is called Once in a Pink Moon Air Element Aquarius Moisturizer. This is a nice lightweight one. It's not very oily or greasy, so I've been liking it for summer. And then I'm testing these glow drops from Typology. None of this is sponsored. Both of those are sent to me and I was under no obligation to review them. So I just put a drop of the glow drop, drop drop, in the moisturizer. It has a little bit of hyaluronic acid in the glow drop, so I don't know if that's potentially disrupting what this moisturizer is supposed to be doing. My skin seems to love it. Hyaluronic acid is now in almost everything, isn't it? It's kind of crazy. So now I have extra glow, not rub that in. You could do this with a highlighter gel. I've been combining a ton of stuff a lot lately and my skin's a little angry, but we're gonna, we're just gonna breeze right past that. I do have an oldie, but a goodie. Well, actually I panned this product and I've started figuring out how to use it again. That's coming up, but right now I'm using the Lychee Concealer Corrector from Air Perez. While I like this, for some reason, I'm not just naturally reaching for it, and I don't know why. It has nothing to do, or it's nothing against the brand or the product. It's just, you know, some products, they could be great, but you're just not reaching for them. I don't know. So how are you doing? I know I wasn't here last Sunday, and I felt very guilty about that, <laughs> but I, I do feel very guilty when I don't post, which is an issue, but just needed a breather and was really glad I took it. But now I want to know how you're doing. How has your week been? Why are the weeks seemingly going faster than ever, ever, ever before? Is it just me? I swipe this on a little bit more. Usually I press in, but because it's a little bit more rich, it will settle in. So I like to swipe a little bit more than I do other concealers. It's absolutely a multitasker. You've probably heard me say that. I have been using the Ilia setting powder lately, and I really like it. Nice and thin, doesn't have a like, plume of kickback. Look at this guy, the Westman Atelier Stick. Probably shouldn't still be using this, so do as I say, not as I do. But you know how I took oil and used it with, why can't I remember what I used it with? Oh, the Ma Beauty Foundation, wow. A drop of jojoba, whatever you have, a thin oil that your face likes, obviously. You don't wanna make your skin angry. Just put it on the very top of this guy and using my Fit Glow brush, you're doing a little bit of that, you're doing a little of that. It's real technical. I think the shade on this is a little too, I mean, it's probably oxidized because it's been a hot minute. You've got, some pretty decent coverage, which I said this stick had coverage. I wasn't mad at it for the coverage. I was mad at it about the finish. Finish was not great for me. Also, now that I found this little, dare I say the word, <laughs> hack, but I'm also kind of like, hmm, I wonder if I could try this with other foundation sticks that I've attempted to work with, although most of them I've really liked. The Westman was so sad because it was so expensive. And yet now, and I will show you a natural light at the end of this video, it's doing its thing. I just wanna also note that I'm incredibly accident prone today. <laughs> I've like walked into my coffee table, knocked everything over on this desk at least five times. Don't know what's going on. Mercury is not in retrograde. There's definitely something happening with my brain. I also really like this because you really don't have to use a lot of product. Oh my God, I just pressed all of that product into the lid. I didn't. I didn't do the, oh my God. Well, don't do what I did. The rest is pretty simple. I'm doing, I brought back the eye brights from RMS. They're just glorious. I do have the peach shade. I will let you know what shade that is. It doesn't look right on me. <laughs> I love the product, but it just, it's not, it's too peachy pinky and I don't think the look is great unless I had more of a contrast on my skin. I don't blame the product, I blame my selection of color. I was trying, you try, you try. I was also thinking as I was applying this today, you get so much in this tube, it's not cheap. You should get a lot of product in here, but I almost wish it was less expensive in a smaller tube. Although people would probably feel like they're in an outrage. But really, so much of this goes a long way that you don't need this much. It's hard to get through this and the amount of time that it lasts, which is six months. And this is, I'm using this past expiration and I do not recommend that. Do not do that. That is not a good idea. Eyeliner. 
found this. I forgot I had it. The 24-7 from Urban Decay. I know. Do you ever see me or hear me say Urban Decay? Nope. Not until today. I gotta do this off camera. It's really hard to do on cam. Eyeliner on. This lasts, but it really depends on what I have underneath. And I have a little bit too much product. So it, it will probably fade a little bit by the end of the day, but not as bad as others. Not as bad as others. We're just gonna go in with the bronze. I'm using Ilia today, drawn in nightlife bronzing powder. I do have the Westman Atelier bronzing stick. Let's give it a try. I have not done the full review for this. Let me get the right brush. I think we're just gonna try this guy. No, I don't wanna try that guy. I think we're gonna try this one, which looks like the dumbest brush to use for this. It's like a mixed media brush, but it seems to work. Now, I am not a huge cream bronzing stick person. We're gonna get specific. I'm doing what all the makeup girls do. Watch me go. I'm a makeup person. No, really. What? This is a contour stick. This isn't a bronzer stick. See? Case in point. Not a makeup person. I'm contouring my face. I dare you to tell me the last time that I did this on this channel and said the word contour. You'll be, you'll be digging through videos for a hot minute. Very subtle, which is... I would expect, I don't know, contouring is a little bit lost on me. Then again, it's like who can be bothered with contouring? I suppose I do it, I suppose I already do it with bronzer in my own way though. So I can't be mad at contouring. Definitely nailed it on the forehead. That I'm into. The thing is, is that when I hear it, I think Kardashian and overly done, you know? So I never really, that's not my MO. If you, if you haven't noticed, uh, but it is kind of cool how you can play with your face shape. It's like I try to be a makeup cynic, and yet when I start playing with it, I'm like, ooh, oh, oh. I think I have to let that go. That whole like you're not a makeup person. I'm telling myself, not you. Sorry, you're just here, listening to me talk to myself. I guess that is YouTube. Yeah, it blends in really easily, very, very nicely. I could build there. I just probably will not. And then we're just gonna carve out the old chinaroonie. Like so, because that's what people do. Oh my god, could you imagine if I was like pulling on a white t-shirt right now? It would be so brown of uh, the worst. It does, it does its thing though. I'm not gonna lie. I cannot be mad at this little stick. And it's small enough. It has a lot of product in here. I love a good mini size. I know they're not great for the environment. Black plastic, although one of you commented, by the way, thank you, that black plastic actually isn't bad and it just went to show, prove the point that there's so much random misinformation about packaging and recycling and I'm still learning. I'm still, still learning, I really am. I'm using the one-liner with Tower 28, or from Tower. This is the work of art shade. I really like it. The reason I got the darker shade, I would normally go lighter for a lip. The reason I got darker is because it is a pencil that you can use everywhere, similar to the 1999 pencils. I've been using it on repeat, quite a fan. And then, I know I just put this on my mouth, but as I say, not as I do, okay? Look away. So you can take this, have a little bit on the finger, and it really pays off so nicely on the eye. Has to be one of my new favorite combinations. And that's sustainable because it's a pencil. There you go. Very, very simple. Ami Cole mascara. Still using it. Still really enjoying it. I really, really am. And then I'm going to try the Rose Ink. Sorry, no. We're gonna try the Jones Road Beauty um, the lip tints. I have four that they sent me to try and I want to use just pinky because it's a very neutral shade. Very creamy, lightweight with some slip to it. It glides on really nicely. I like it a lot with that Tower 28 pencil. It's just a really pretty neutral. I'm doing a wear test today and tomorrow for this. So the scorecard's coming, but overall, pretty good. She's done, she's done, she got a haircut. All right, so here we go. Easy breezy. That's it, got, got a lot of glow on this one, so you're gonna be okay with that. I mean, I did extra, extra moisturize here. I wish you a very, very happy rest of your weekend, and I will see you right back here real soon. Till then.
Natural light, got some shiny shine going on here. Close up. You can barely see the foundation, right? It's kind of wild. Oil trick is really coming in handy. The contour, it's very subtle too, the contour. Just want to mention that. There you go, natural light. Now you know what it actually looks like if I were to step out into the sun.